Today we are going to be celebrating the amazing egg with some really fun egg experiments. <laughs> some egg inspired science experiments. These are so easy and really fun to do at home and it'll help you learn a little bit more about the amazing egg. For our first experiment, you're going to need one egg and I suggest using a larger egg for this experiment. You're also going to need some white distilled vinegar, about a cup to a cup and a half, depending on the size of container that you use. You're also going to need a container to put your egg and vinegar in. We like to use these mason jars here because it's really easy to get the egg in and out. And with the clear sides, you can see what's going on inside your mason jar. To assemble this science experiment, all you're going to do is you're going to put your vinegar into your mason jar and carefully put your egg inside the vinegar. Next, you're going to place the lid on top of the mason jar and seal it closed. And you're going to let the mason jar sit for about 24 hours undisturbed. You're going to notice that there's going to be a lot of bubbles inside of this mason jar. After 24 hours, go ahead and take your egg out of the mason jar and give it a little rinse under water. Now you get to really see the awesomeness <laughs> that just happened inside that mason jar. So here again is our first egg that we had. It's good, it's solid. And when we pick up our egg that was in our mason jar, something's happened. <laughs> it's really squishy, it's bouncy, and we can see the inside of the egg without the shell on the outside. You can even see a little of the calcium left over from the eggshell on the back of our bouncing egg here. This is such a fun experiment because you can put a flashlight up to it and really see the yolk inside the egg as well. Our next experiment, we're going to grow some crystals on some eggshells. So again, you're going to need a container to put your mixture into. We're using that wide mouth mason jar. You're also gonna need some food coloring and the gel food coloring makes really vibrant colors. You're going to need a cup and a half of borax. You're going to need four cups of boiling water. So we're using this big measuring cup here to put our boiling water in. And you're also going to need an eggshell that's been prepared. So we saved some eggshells from breakfast this morning, very carefully kind of opened up the shell a little bit, rinsed it under some warm water and kind of removed the inner membrane from inside the eggshell. To prepare your mixture, you're going to add your borax to your hot water and very carefully give it a stir till everything is all dissolved. Now we're only going to be doing one color uh, with this mixture here. So we went ahead and put the food coloring right into our four cups of boiling water. You can also put the water into your separate containers and add the food coloring during that step as well. After your everything is all mixed up, go ahead and put that mixture into your mason jar and carefully drop your eggshell into the mixture. You're going to allow this mixture to sit for about 24 to 48 hours and you'll know it's ready because you'll see all these really great crystals floating in the mixture. Very carefully take a spoon and gently release your egg from the inside of your jar there. And you want to be very careful because your crystals are still forming and still solidifying so you don't want to break them off your eggshells. Set your crystallized eggshell on some paper towels and allow them to dry for a couple days. After a few days, you're gonna notice that those crystals have really adhered to the eggshell and you have beautiful crystallized eggshells. You can actually spray these eggshells with the crystals on them with a little bit of clear acrylic spray and your crystals will last even longer. Hopefully we've given you some inspiration to try some of these really fun egg experiments. Today we made really fun crystallized eggshells and a bouncing egg. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. 
As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. Happy experimenting!